I gotta grab all this. Uh, you know, this 50 pounds doesn't really feel like 50 pounds after moving all that concrete. I tell you what. I always give the chickens three different types of feed. I always give them the crumble high protein, as well as I get them the pellet high protein for the layer feed. And then I also get scratch. These are two, basically the same. It's just size wise of the food, but the scratch is more so like their uh, treat per se. But I mix all of that together so that way it's like an even mix for them. And then, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we get a good yield of eggs and the chicken seems to really like it. So I've, uh, I've been doing that for a very, very long time since uh, we were in Arizona. doing the scratch because it's a little finer. So now, looks like it ain't all mixed up because it ain't. That's what it looks like when I pour it in. And then now, I gotta get in it. Whew. Rinse, cycle, repeat. Mixed up. Uh, clean up this. I gotta go grab the dog food. Now this dog food is really, really good. So this is uh, the Value Pack Three Performance Dog Food. No corn. No wheat. No soy no gluten, it's high protein, it's got some fat in there. It's for active adults and puppies. And yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really good one. It's also got even hip and joint um, stuff for it and for feeding instructions and everything. But because we have the big dogs over there, it makes it to where we're, you know, <laughs> we're, we're making sure that they're good and all that, but. I really like this food. We get that from our uh, our local feed store out in uh, Boonville. And it's also made in the USA. So I'm gonna go get some more.
And now they got a nice full barrel. Which these barrels are great for feed storage, mainly to keep all the rodents out. It's right there, now there ain't no rodents getting in. And it's not metal, so you ain't gonna get a whole lot of condensation. I mean, plastic does condensate a little bit, but metal condensates a lot to metal. So, it uh, makes me happy that I got that done. Whew. Now, I can go and do all my other tasks. So, I'll see you guys here in just a sec. Well, thank you for doing all the dog food and getting everything out of my car. Yes, yes. Gary and I are devising a plan to divide and conquer today because today is our last day before we go on our big trip mm -hmm. cross country. And I've got to get Tiny ready for us to be able to pack and uh, get out here and go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be ended up taking Tiny to town and cleaning all of this so that way we're not taking, you know, all this dirt with us mm -hmm. across country and we're going to be in the car for a really long time and... I don't want to be sitting around a bunch of filth. Yeah. yeah. So it's better to start off with a nice clean one. You yep. Know. That's for sure. So. So we're going to start by getting everything out of the car. So that way it'll be ready for us uh, to pack it up when I come back from town. Yes. Um, Gary's got a few things that he's going to work on while I'm gone. Um, again, we're going to be dividing and conquering to the best of our ability, but we are running around like madmen right now. Yes. Yeah. We're trying to get as much done because tomorrow we leave yep. at like so. three o'clock in the morning. We've had things add on to the list. If you, uh, you know, you, if you guys watch Real Talk, you guys probably already know. <laughs> and but, if you pay uh, <laughs> attention during the videos, we've got some people we got that, some are stuff that are private eyes, right? And check this out. Yep. The windstorm last night flew the trampoline through the yard and messed up a bunch of stuff, caused a lot more trash and stuff to be blown around. And uh, we already cleaned up the yard once this week, but it looks like we're going to have to do a secondary quick clean. Man. I know. So that's going to be uh, something I need a hand with because, yeah. No, our bodies are still hurting for certain from all that freaking concrete or yep. Portland, whatever, that yep. stuff. <laughs> We're still in a lot of pain from all of that, so I won't yep. be making you do that by yourself. Yeah. It's yeah. just awkward. It's not heavy. It's going to be more awkward than anything. Because, you know, it's 16 feet wide. And I can't believe it, guys. It was staked down to the ground. Plus, it had those cement blocks on there. The wind was just whipping. And yeah. at least, though, Gary's garage is still standing. Yeah. Everything's still over there. Although, it does look like the part got blew up a little bit. Yeah. Like, we're going to have to address that really quick as well. I'll be able so. to tighten those things up a little bit more. It is a new, uh, you know, it is new. So, it might have just released a little bit here and there, you know, and to where I'm like, okay, cool. Now I can really tighten it down. Yeah, tighten her up. But Tighten it. First things first. Yeah, first things first is this car. Let's get this car situated. That way we can go over there and get that stuff situated. And then you could do your thing. I'll do my thing. We'll meet back in the middle and get her done. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. The car has been emptied out from all the stuff as far as like the big things. That was a lot mm -hmm. of trash in the car. Yeah, that was a lot of random stuff. Yeah, yeah. laundry and stuff like that. So random <sighs> stuff, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's emptied out. So now I could take it into town and get her vacuumed and cleaned out. Um, before I leave though, I'm gonna give Gary a hand with this trampoline that the dogs are using as a play mat. Yep. Lu Louie, net net, uh -uh. net net. Sitting over Before there. they destroy it. Yeah, they'll scratch it and tear it to bits and ruin it. And I don't want it ruined. The kids really like to play with it. So, um, I guess. I seen it. I seen it last night around like nine o'clock. I heard something crash, you know, and I don't think it was that that I heard, to be quite honest. No, I think it was the, uh, the, ladder, it was the ladder falling. 
Because it wasn't or like Or it was the basketball hoop falling. No, one of the two. One of these two. These one both these. fell last night. In that wind storm. That wind was straight up crazy last night, guys. It was whipping around. It was it was really bad. But Fair. Uh, it is what it is. I gotta get these dried and cleaned. <laughs> these need to come with us on our trip. Yeah. Kid left the shoes outside. Of course he did. Of course he did. Um, all right. All right. Well, let's get this thing moved around and put back to where it goes. Hopefully up, while doggies? we're gone, it doesn't happen again. Oh, wrong way. Relax, relax, relax. They're all hyped up. They are. We're, they're all, you're they're in all my, hyped up on you're Mount in my Doom. area. Oh. But yeah, no, I seen this and I was like, nope, I ain't doing that tonight. It was all raining. Go get Still it. Still super windy. For it to flip this thing and to pull it out of that, it had to have been like 60 mile an hour winds. Uh, yeah. Like. I'd agree. And the way that it was sounding in the house, it sure did sound like 60 mile an hour winds. Man, it almost would be best to flip it this way, just because we don't have no legs on this. You know what I mean? But then yeah. we could walk it that way. Layla, bring it here. However, bring it here. Bring it here. We could it. flip it that way. It's just gonna be a little trickier. Just tell me what to do, baby. Luna, let me have it. Good girl. Here, you guys wanna play so you guys can get out of our way? Here, go get it. Quick, quick. quick. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yep, yeah. why Craig, why? Oh my goodness. Okay, ready? Keep going. Keep it going. Oh, I think I'm on a block. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. Oh, you're close to one now. Oh, Here. Um, that's fine. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh. oh, hold up. Mm. Mm. Ready? It's gonna It's pop. gonna it's gonna pop. So now just let her go down. And that's, I'm gonna run that's... out of the way. It's caught on the wheel. Hold up. Wheel it. <laughs> wheel it. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Move hold those. Up. Hold those. Hold that if you can. Yeah, I was going to say lay those down so it don't pop it. I'm going to come on this side. Bring it up on that one peg. Man, there goes my sock right in the hole. Dang it. Oh man, my foot's all wet now. That sucks. All right. I'm changing clothes before I go to town. All right, so now we just need to move it back this way. Oh. Close to <laughs> where it was. Mm. I cannot believe it flew oh. like it did. There's a piece of metal that needs to come back out. Oh. All right. Uh. Let's get these on there. And then we can reposition it and level. Yep. <clears throat> and this way. And this way. Now, we are a lot closer to where it was. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? I say. Huh? Try to steal okay. one from the fireplace. Go get it. Right there for right now. We're gonna already have to replace one from there, you know? Yep. But for now. All right, turds. <laughs> I'll take this one. Oh. I can't believe that that wind flipped it over. I know it. It must have been a direct sideways wind like this way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause it flipped it perfectly. 
We actually Boop. need one more because I just got a rock right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, well, we got the trampoline back to where she belongs. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully while we're gone, there's no more crazy wind storms that are going to make things go flying around. Mm -hmm. um, but if there is, then there is. There's not really anything we could do about that, right? So. No. Nope. So we'll, uh, I'll probably end up setting that uh, basketball hoop down once I come over here and clean up. Uh -huh. But I still, I'm going to clean up this yard and this back patio area for First things first, I got to get that chicken water set up and everything else. So yep. I'm going to focus on that first and uh, then I'll be able to come up here and finish up what I need to do. Yep. So this is the moment where we're going to pass the baton on to Gary. Gary's going to go down to the chicken coop and finish off what he started yesterday. Yep. I'm going to go off into town, go head into Walmart real quick, grab the last little minute snacks and last little minute things. Yep. Um, vacuum out the car and then we're just going to be come home, pack, go team, go. Go team, go. Go team, go. All right. Catch you in a minute, friends. All right. He almost got squished. Look at this lizard. Look, buddy. You got a pretty belly.
Hmm. I'll set you right there. The biggest thing with piping is prep work and making sure everything's clean. I'm gonna go prime the inside of this bucket real quick. I'll get you guys closer here as I'm uh, going inside. I'm having to figure out what hole I'm putting it in. to go crazy now just get a good little healthy chunk in there all right in order to put this in I'm gonna have to uh, come inside the chicken coop get this through the pipe or <laughs> through the fencing what up chickies what up chickies how was that windstorm for you guys last night that wind and rainstorm was crazy huh huh that was nutty 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 right, I'm gonna bring this guy in and through somewhere around here, I've got to find the hole. That's, that's fairly close to, I mean, I did like the fact that I was tying those two together like that though. You know what, I'm going to like that. Wow. Oh. Normally I do both ends, but I'm not going crazy on it. I'm going to try to get you back. Twist it to that 90. I'm going to have to adhere this to the fencing and everything else and I'm just getting it to where the watering system is going to be actually attached and that's a pretty good height I do like it
got the hose in there. I've just got this cap for now. I'm gonna have Mel get me a uh, ball valve for the end right there. But popped on there. See if these things are leaking or what is going on. Hopefully it all stops itself. I don't want to put one right there. I think I could put that right there. And check this. I like it. And that's pretty level, man. For an eyeball level job, that's pretty level. My eyeball is not lying to me, man. I tell you what. Chicken's got some nice waterers now. They should never go out of water. I mean, in all reality, this is a lot of water. And that takes off a huge chore list for me. So, ah, uh, awesome. That's gonna make life a lot easier for both me as well as uh, Country Road Cure for watching our animals while we are gone. But that's just gonna, that just makes life so much simpler. I'm not gonna lie. With all that nasty wind and that big old storm we had. It's still nice and, nice and dry in here. So now, we've got quite a bit in here. They're gonna break that down and move it around and mess with it as much as possible. So I don't need to go too crazy with that. But now they actually have some straw coming out through their food and their waterers right here. And that should help out with a lot of that mud and nastiness. So hopefully, they don't try to scrape or scratch all that over here into this big old pile of all this stuff. It seems to be their uh, MO. I put stuff in here and then they scratch it all up against the fence this way, which it is what it is, you know? But now they've got plenty of food. They got plenty of water. I mean, <laughs> they got a 55 gallon drum of water. They got something that can hold a little over 50 gallons or 50 pounds of food, you know, so that's uh, that's full. They've got we've got more food inside the horse trailer. I got the hose drug out so that way they can get some water added to this if for whatever reason. That's pretty it, pretty much it. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that this is turning out. That should make life a lot more automated and nicer. I got to get those eggs though. So I'm going to put all this stuff out of this gate. Get you guys put down so I can grab all this stuff that I need. Chickies are already all trying to go up in there and mess with the eggs. And go lay more. Ah, ah, ah. Yeet. Yeet. Don't be trying to go after my eggs that you laid. I'll bring you guys back in just a sec. I'm gonna come check on the rabbits. 
see how they're doing and how they held up to the storm you still got food you still got food and you still got food all right all right so i just got into town and my very first stop has got to be to turn this twenty dollar bill into a bunch of quarters so i could work the machine now, usually when you go into uh, gas stations and stuff like that and you ask them for quarters, they look at you sideways and they're like, that's all I got, man. I ain't gonna give you no quarters. So, I has an idea. I just pulled into the laundromat. This is the best quarter machine around as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go into the laundromat, get me some quarters, and then I'm gonna go into uh, the car wash area and get this thing vacuumed out. And it should be so satisfying to watch all of that dirt and grime go bye-bye, so. Let's get me some quarters. Slightly delirious. It's the day before our trip, so anyway, let's get it. All right, got my quarters. For some reason, I don't know if it's just a Vegas kid thing, but that sound is so nostalgic to me. Just that ching, 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 ching of all the change. Uh, they don't really have slot machines like that in Vegas anymore where you can, you know, get that excited feeling of winning the jackpot. Sorry. They don't really have slot machines like that in Vegas anymore where the change actually comes out. As far as I'm aware, I'm not a big gambler, but I remember, uh, you know, years ago when I was growing up in Vegas and uh, you'd be walking through the casinos and you'd hear that particular noise of all the change smacking the bottom metal tray. And uh, that was a bit of sweet nostalgia for me right now. <laughs> for some reason, I just got deja vu. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Now all the slot machines and stuff in Vegas, you gotta, they give you like a little printout ticket and then you gotta take it to the actual um, cashier's cage. Um, so there's that. There's your tidbit of useless information. <laughs> Any other Vegas people get the sweet sense of nostalgia or um, anything like that whenever you hear change hitting the bottom of a tray? Or is it just me? Anyhow. Off to the vacuum. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Somebody broke it. Dang it. I think that there's another vacuum spot in town. I'm gonna drive to that one first and see if it's better. If not, I'm gonna be left using that broken hose. Dang it, man. It's the whole reason I drove to town. All right, so I just ended up over here in uh, Boonville. I found another vacuum cleaner. And this one doesn't look to be broken. By the looks of it, it looks a little clean too. So hopefully it's got some good suction for me because my car is a mess. All right, here's the dirty details. Ew, right? Gross, gross. And it's like that throughout the entire car. Ew. Gary, let's see if I can get this thing shining. bring you guys along so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, 
we're getting things going. I'm almost done. Sweet. That actually works. I'm gonna go grab another two. Hopefully I can find some that uh, do not need to cut. <laughs> if that's the case, then I brought brought my saw out for no reason. But it's all right. I'm just surprised that I had two pretty much the same exact size. So, all right, let's see about the other one, and then uh, if I can get that covered, that is that, and I can start coming over here and getting ready to do Mel's oil change when she gets home and yeah well I have gotten the wood in there so now the dogs can hang out up there and they shouldn't destroy it too much they're not too bad on the furniture at least these three those three on the other hand man i swear <laughs> this thing would be destroyed in a heartbeat so we've got that situated there's a couple of more things that i gotta do in this area um one i've got mel getting me another barrel so i can cut it in half and i'm gonna have it on this side for the dogs and then as well as i'll have the other half for future plans down at the animal tier and whatnot so She's grabbing that as well as some other things like a ball valve so I can finish up the chicken water I'm going to glue that at the end of it so I can easily flush the system and everything like that and um, Other than that, that's pretty much it for Yard wise, I'm gonna have the kids uh, go around with the trash bag and pick up a lot of the Trash and toys that they have scattered all over the place. Like I mean there's toys over there and over there and all over so i'm gonna have them clean up and everything and whatnot when they get home do some of their chores and whatnot and then it's uh packing time and everything and as they're doing that i will be doing the oil change on tiny i've got that so that will be done and uh yeah it's just packing up the the vehicle we are we're ready i'm pretty happy it's not going to take me long to uh sawzall through a bucket so <laughs> that ain't going to be much I'm pretty happy about that so you guys uh will see here in just a second when the kids get home and uh, mel gets home with all the stuff and whatnot and i can get back to work because i pretty much have worked myself to that's about it so anywho catch you guys here in just a sec I should keep them pretty dry. That should be great. I tucked it on the bottom and around, and then I stuffed it around, but this tarp was so big, it was, I don't know how I was gonna bungee it. So yeah. I just bungee looks... this flat close, so that way if it rains and it falls off, it should go down and away. Away. No. away. Same thing right here, it'll probably pool like this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Get out of there. Yeah, they should stay dry. They should be nice and dry in there. And then they got their food. We got the food barrels filled up. Got the cat barrel. We fixed the lid yep. because I stole the good lid for the cat barrel. And then this one's the dog barrel and it leaks a little bit, but I have to feed them every single day. And I always grab the little bit that's wet, if it ever is. <laughs> and I give it up to them real quick. So the cats, they, uh, they've got a, that thing filled up quite a bit. And they've got plenty of food. Yep, we got them a um, one of those gravity uh, food and water barrels. Mm -hmm. So that should last them with dry food for the entire time that we're gone. Yep. Same thing with water, um, but Anthony and Roxanne said they'd go in there and spoil them with a can here and there. Yeah. So, and they're gonna scoop their poop once while we're gone too. So. Yeah, so we've got that situated. 
We've got the dog water situated. I got the wood. Yep. I don't know if you see that or not. I do see that. The, the only thing I want to do last is I do want to take these cushions, unless you're going to leave it all stuffed like this right That's here. That's all I was planning on is just stuffing them like that. Okay. Off from the side. Alright. That you way know the they... dogs are going to sit on this. Yeah, and if this is over this way, they're going to be on top of that tail. Mm -hmm. And I've already seen it. You know, so Lucy. If you put it right here, they we don't... put it off on the side, they're fine. Okay. So, but now they have a little spot that they can go and hang out in the sun and sunbathe like dogs do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll work, and then so. it'll keep the um, the mesh from getting ruined. Mm hmm Yeah. So that's done. That is done. We've got them all situated. Lady's already liking her her <laughs> little dig right there. She's all for me. Mm-hmm. And then I've already cleaned up the yard in there. Nice. And. I've got them all food, water. We've got the rabbits, food and water. Actually, Scarlett, can you go make sure that the food is fully, fully filled up? Fully, fully filled up for those rabbits. Can you go do that for me? Thank you, Beth. And uh, I've got to go finish up the water system for the chickens. Because you got that ball valve now. I did, and I didn't know which one you wanted, right? I said half inch, but... No, no, I wasn't talking about oh. that. Oh, okay, sorry. Threaded or not threaded. Oh, you're talking about male or female. I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything, but okay, cool. They were $2. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So but. I was like, I'm going to get both instead of keep bugging Gary. <laughs> yeah, I kept. I was trying to move and groove and get a lot done, but honestly, now that i got that barrel done, as soon as I go finish up the uh, chicken water right there, I can move tiny over there and do your oil change real quick. I'm going to start packing up in the house. I got to fold up the rest of the laundry from that last yep. load that we did. So I'm going to go in there and do that. Okay. And then that way all the laundry is finished and then I can start packing. Okay. Go team go. Let's do go it. Team go. You're going to hold that there for a minute. Make sure that that don't come out. But I really wanted this on there. So that way I can do a clean out. The cap was leaking just ever so slightly, but cap could have popped out a little bit if possible. Get some of that backwash and all that stuff out of there. There we go. I've got that ball valve on there so I can backwash out all this stuff. So we've got that all hooked up. They got water. like super clear <laughs> we are full all right well we're on the road again on the road again in the dark no seatbelt gary click it or take it i know i'm trying to set the car up 
were fogging out. It's just a little after midnight and we are finally hitting the road. It's actually a lot earlier than we thought we were going to leave. We weren't planning on leaving until three, but what happened was is uh, we stayed up packing. And then once we realized what time it was after we finished packing, we were like, you know what? Let's leave. Let's hit the road. Yeah. So, we did. <laughs> you guys stayed up ever since. Yes. Yeah. We will see you guys here as soon as I get some better lighting. <laughs>